Well, happy Tuesday evening to everybody. It's Jeannie from In the Woods Homestead. And I haven't done an update in a little while. So, uh, we finally started using our little burpee. Um, easy, like, movable uh, seed tray here. And we've got some peas and stuff in it and I'm excited about that. This year I wasn't so um, plant happy, seed happy. So we've been doing pretty good this year. We're taking it a little steady and Sean's getting some clearing done. And I've been just working and taking care of cats and piglets and chickens and goats everything. Ellie Mae is also doing really, really good. Um, she's back in the goat pen with everybody. And, um, yeah. All of our piglets are doing really good. We've got a home for two as of just a few hours ago. And, uh, I'm going to show you Peggy real quick. Hold on. Okay. So this is Peggy. Oh my goodness. She is a park cooney cooney and American guinea hog. And she um, she's one of our smaller ones. And she actually had a little boo-boo on her on her eye here. So I decided to take her out of um, the pen with the rest of them. And she gets to hang out with me a lot. And we've started integrating some of her brothers and sisters back in with her until they find new homes shortly. Um, just in a few weeks. Yeah, in a few weeks. But she's been so sweet. She's probably the calmest pig I've been able to um, hold on to. Usually they don't let me hold on to them too, too well. Huh. Yeah, want to show me face? Yeah. Yeah. Just sweet pig, huh? Uh, last night I brought her in and she passed out, belly up. I went to sleep immediately as soon as she got inside where she was warm and then she got a bath hmm. and then she she fell asleep in there because it was nice and toasty yeah 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 anyway all right we're gonna get Sean to come up here and tell us about his progress with the land clearing and what we're doing with that and then maybe we'll tell you a little bit about what else we've got going on. All right, I'm just gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go down here and talk to him. Hi, Peach. Oh, she's mad at me. Just mad, mad, mad. She says, you have two of my babies. What are you doing? Make a fire? Yeah. What for? Still clearing for the septic. Well, we're almost done. Yeah. It up. Yeah, we've had a lot to clean up. As you can see, this was way, 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 yeah. way full of brush that he had cut down. Like right over here, you see all this limbs and whatnot. This whole area was just like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. 150,000, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we had a big old fire here, as you can see. Our friend Mikey helped us put that out before it took off into the woods. Which wouldn't wouldn't been too upset about if it would have done some more clearing for us. So what do we have to do after we get it cleaned up? Well, then we got to dig. We got to dig. Yeah. Yay. Where are these plants? Let's see. Oh, there it is. 
down here, and then you can see it over there. Oh, just to have a fancy toilet. Just so we can hide our... Yeah. Well, and for, you know, just to hide our number twos underground for a while. We had to dig these holes before just to get our perk test done. Just so that we could get water here. And to get all this other fun stuff, so... And then we gotta buy a septic tank. Yep. No, nope, those aren't cheap. Um, we're probably. <laughs> he said we take sponsors. Um, if not, if we have to get a thousand gallon, don't we? Yeah. Woo! Just for a two a two bedroom house. Well, Maybe three. Right. I have two bedrooms, but yeah. Yeah. Just for two people, a whole thousand gallons. But I guess that'll be won't get clogged up or nothing. Won't have to do too much to it. How many pigs you got sold? A little less than half. That's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I didn't say I was wanting to keep them. I was just, you no, know, Peggy, I kind of like her. She's pretty cool. Unless she turns out like Peach. You don't want to talk to me no more. I've ruined her. Did I, is it because I put a sweater on her? <laughs> that just means she's easier to catch. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's got a scar. Someone picked on her. Well. Alright. Is there anything else you want to tell them about? <laughs> I was just excited. It's okay. I was just staring at your at your belly button. <laughs> Do you want to tell them about the other spot yet or no? No, it's okay. I haven't said anything. I just said that we have a spot. Okay. We won't tell them yet. <laughs> All right, let's go look at the garden. I hope Billy Button Showing's not, you know, rated R or anything. I hope. Anyway, let's look at these chickies first before we go look at the garden. Look at these little chickies. Hi, chickies. Did you take down your thing? Hmm? Yeah. You knocked it down, didn't you? Yeah. You're so pretty. Yeah, you're so pretty. Okay, so I planted some arugula. I haven't eaten much of it because it was kind of weird because it kind of it got frozen. They kind of turned wrinkly, and I don't know if that's okay or if they're going to taste bad. They just didn't look like they were going to taste very good, so I didn't eat them. Anyway, they kind of grew all kinds of crazy. Um, I added some red lettuce and uh, there's a thing of kale over here but that kale went to seed. Uh, all my kale went to seed because it got real toasty and got really cold and plus we had some kids over here that love kale all of a sudden and they ate a whole bunch of it and stressed it out. So it's okay we'll probably harvest it soon and eat it if it's still any good. 
And then over in that bed, I planted a whole bunch of okra in this first one. I don't know what I planted in the second one. That third little one right there. I can't remember either. We'll see what happens. But my carrots are finally getting big. Those right there. Those are my carrots. I'll show you. So excited because it's starting to look like ooh, like actual carrots in there. And I tasted one the other day and it was delicious. And I'm super stoked about them because ooh, there's spider webs. Just put my hand all in it. I hope there's not a spidey on me. Okay, as you can see. It's not doing too bad. Um, I took the little tops off of them so they wouldn't go to seed. But they sure were trying, so. Maybe, just maybe, I had saved them. I planted some gourds along here, but I don't see anything popping up. It's, it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I'm not gonna today. Then we've got my purple kale. It tried going to seed. You can see it sprouted up all kinds of crazy here. And there's some more green lettuce. I think. Oh wow! You got them big! Look at this asparagus! Look how big it's gotten! That's huge. And my sage is starting to come back. And my lemon balm and my peppermint have come back with a vengeance. Even after those kids got real excited. Then a uh, little baby potato plant. Little teeny tiny. But yeah, so Peyton. Uh, my technical sister-in-law Jordan and Brady came over last it was last weekend or the weekend before and they just had a grand old time with the kale plants and learning what kale tasted like and peppermint and lemon balm all together they really seemed to enjoy it so um, Peyton came in with a mouthful of lemon balm and peppermint wrapped up in a kale leaf, just chomping down on it, and shh, yeah, lots of kale. So, grow your vegetables, and kids will probably eat them when they can pick it off the plant. So, I just kind of wanted to update you guys. Uh, it's just been very busy with planting stuff and clearing the property and uh, burning big old brush piles, having lots of bonfires. Uh, spring goes really fast for us and summer just flies by. Wintertime's so slow. Uh, it's, it's funny, you wait all winter for, win for spring and summer and it's just, it just goes by just like that. Just like that. But I'm super stoked. We have a little bit more space this year. A little bit more amenities, as in water and showers and whatnot, so that we can have our family over. And I think we're gonna get to have a lot more get togethers this year, hopefully. And I cannot wait to see what actually comes of it because so much happened last year. There was so much. I went home from work. I've been home for over a year now and it's pretty it's pretty wild. It does something to you socially. We uh there's lots of flies and gnats right now because it's starting to get a little bit cooler and they're all kind of coming out. But it's, 
it is, it's just kind of awkward socially with people. I feel like I've connected to you guys more than I have people in real life in the last year. So, I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, all the support you guys give, give us and just thank you because I don't, I don't uh, expect anybody to really care about what we're doing, but it's... It's uh, not something that everybody's doing. I have to remember that. That we're out here. It might be a normal everyday life to me, but not to everybody else. So if there's anything you guys ever want to see, just tell me. I'll, I'll show you guys what we're doing. Sometimes I don't think about that. I just think about, oh, we had a fire. We cleared some more land. We got some chickens. We have pigs. Did some seeds. Did the I did the farm girl thing. So um, the rest of it is just living. Oh, guess what I saw the other day? Fireflies. Pretty exciting about the lightning bug because I thought it was just like a star, but it was lightning bugs. And I'm super stoked because it's gonna be so pretty out here with them. Okay, well, Sean said he's gonna get a fire started soon, so I'm gonna go maybe start some dinner. All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye. What? has a little bit of a, a, a head tilt when she gets excited, but she's doing a lot better. Huh? I know, sweet girl. Oh, you're going to head back Papa Goat? Hi, Reggie. Hi, Reginald. Don't bite me. Go far. <laughs> 